I mean, man, where should I even begin this? I'm just so disappointed. I mean, as a fan of My Hero Academia myself, I'm just so disappointed at the fandom of My Hero Academia. Like, it's just so depressing, you know? Like, uh, I didn't, I really didn't wanted to cover this story because it was just so bad. But I just couldn't control myself. And I, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I won't even like to waste my time by writing a script for this. And I would just go unedited on this one. Like, this, this is just my raw uh, opinion on all of this going on. Because I'm just so mad about all of this. This is just entitlement at its peak. Like, um, My Hero Academia, despite all its flaws, is a great show. No doubt about that. Like, I'm not just um, I'm not just referring to the anime, I'm referring to the manga as well. Horikoshi is doing a really good job at it. But the fans, oh my goodness, like, what the bloody hell is wrong with y'all? Like, giving that man literal death threats. Are y'all crazy? Are y'all just mad? Are y'all just, like, wh- wh- what the hell is wrong with y'all? Okay, basically this video, this particular video is a reaction to everything that is happening since the last two days. I mean, in reference to the previous episode uh, of My Hero Academia, in which the character of Hawks was introduced. I mean, Hawks is a very, very popular character in the manga and a lot of people were excited for his introduction, proper introduction in the anime, including myself because I'm also a huge fan of the My Hero Academia manga. I started reading the manga just after the ending of season 3 because I was so excited with the story that I couldn't control myself. Since then, I am, uh, you know, updated with the manga. I read it every week. I am so excited with all the shenanigans that are happening currently in the manga, like with the supposed time skip and all. I know, I know, I won't give much spoilers here, but I'm just saying it. And in spite of all these things, the first thing what I hear or the, rather the first thing which I see after opening Twitter is people getting mad at My Hero Academia. Like, what the fuck? Why? Why? And the reasons are just peculiar, bad, toxic, and as an anime fan, disheartening. I mean, truly disheartening. And this is not just new. I mean, this video is a response to the recent incident, but all this sort of a thing is not new with this fandom. And the general mockery that is associated with this fandom is, it is understandable. It is genuinely understandable. I mean, not even Naruto and Dragon Ball fandoms have this sort of tendencies. So basically, I think the first incident, I might be wrong here, but the first incident which happened with the fandom in in this such a big, uh, you know, scale was with Endeavor. When... Actually, yeah, it's currently going to happen probably once again because the anime is going to adapt that particular scene from the manga only. So basically, uh, Endeavor becomes the number one hero after All Might's retirement. And he has this sort of a uh, remorseful arc going on where he is sorry for his actions, for everything that is done with his family and all. And he's trying, he's really trying his best to rectify himself. But the fans are just mad at Horikoshi, like literally giving him death threats because he is making this man remorseful. And why? Because he is a domestic abuser and all. And he just, uh, people don't want him to change. Like people don't want to give this person, this character a second chance. They are so mad at Endeavor. Like this is everything against the culture of hero i mean heroes are all about being forgiving and trying to do what's best trying to find the best in every people trying to give second chances trying to you know rectify mistakes trying to like i'm just rambling on and on but i think you get the point but this is basically what's uh the essence of a hero or a shonen manga or show but the fans have just twisted it and demoralized it in their own wicked sense and just giving death threats to Horikoshi, the creator of My Hero Academia. All right, fine. This was the first incident. Second was... Uh, yeah, the second one was probably with Hado, the big three's Hado. I mean, yeah, I can understand some of it that uh, women in anime are sometimes, you know, over explicitly stated in, a, in an over sexual manner and all but 
is that really like uh, that big of an issue i mean just for reference c1 piece there also there are big women i'm just saying big women i'm not going to explicitly uh, state what all was the controversy all about i mean every one of you know it probably and so i'm not going to go in depth on it but the situation with hado and uh, translating her figure from manga to anime uh, that was just an unnecessary outrage like just giving her a more roundish appearance it's not something like too deal breaker or something again uh, a similar incident happened after the overhaul arc was over when shigaraki and dabi and the and basically the league of villains like created the truck in which overall was being carried to like there was this particular scene or uh, scene in the manga where they are walking with a very stylistic in in a very stylistic manner and the anime didn't choose to do that i mean okay all right if the anime did that uh, scene it would have been fine it would have been good it would have been good okay it would have been good but that's not a deal breaker this thing like this thing the fans are not able to understand that not adapting a particular scene from the manga is not a deal breaker i mean studio bones is doing their best i mean there have been yeah there have been budget cuts there have been i don't know if it's even budget cut or not but there have been some episodes with bad animation uh but it was mostly to focus on the main episodes like the fight between deku and overhaul with uh 100% so those were the parts where the animation or rather the key budget of the animation was focused on so you will obviously have some episodes with uh you know lower quality of animation that is understandable that is not a crime or something so people just outraging over these things it it's it's hilarious and all so basically that was the thing then there was this whole shenanigan with the manga i mean it's not just not about the anime it's in the manga as well like the fans are just 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 so bad anyway so what happened here is that uh, and i would try to uh, avoid all the spoilers here because this is a spoiler territory for the manga but i've just uh, try to say it as spoilerless as possible basically the birthday of bakugo is revealed and the fans are outraged the japanese fans are outraged because uh, it is supposed to be a, a reference to a bad political leader i won't say the name here because youtube you know so uh, you know the theory you know the story what i'm trying to refer to but because of this there was a huge and massive outrage and also there is a particular doctor character like a particular doctor who is associated with one for all who is uh, going to be a very important part of the story moving forward and basically his name reveal was just a massive you know influx of negativity and toxicity in the fandom like people were just so damn mad that horikoshi had to uh, change his name in the next uh, issue of the manga and he had to uh, he had to make a public apology for that like are you kidding me are you so insensitive like this fandom is just nuts it's just nuts and i'm so i'm i'm really thankful to you guys like those sane fans who trended the hashtag we support horikoshi like horikoshi needs a support this man is seeing so bad stuff from the people like he doesn't deserve all this hate he really doesn't deserve all this hate so it 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 is just uh, i mean so infuriating i'm just uh, grasping for words here like it's so infuriating i'm I, i don't even want to waste my time about writing this sort of a thing like uh, i didn't wanted to cover this story i generally didn't wanted to cover this story because it would make me even more mad but i just couldn't control myself from doing so and i just went on and on rambling about it and i have not even prepared a script for this i'm just rambling right now so basically i would just like to say that this situation is really bad and this fandom is just like useless useless like 
what the hell i'm uh, i mean i watch i'm i'm not a that big of an anime guy i'm not uh, you know watching 20 to 25 shows simultaneously but i definitely watch about 5 to 10 uh, anime at the same time i'm reading doctor stone manga every week i'm reading other mangas as well so none of these fandoms are that toxic and like hateful and all like yeah one more thing i was just forgot forgetting about that uh, in the last episode only there was a scene with the pussy cats the hero group of pussy cats where they come to um, the dormitory of ua high school and there's a particular posing scene in the manga which was not exactly done or not exactly copied onto the anime like it was just a basic scene done in the anime and people are just mad that why the hell did uh, studio bones no, uh, not copy it as it is like uh, i mean i'm grasping for words now but yeah you ba- basically understand the point so basically the outrage all these outrages are because why because the anime is not exactly copying by to by the manga and just taking some liberties taking some cuts taking some shortcuts uh, that would be a proper term but it's understandable because hey the next episode is going to be a big one the endeavor versus high end fight is a um, you know very important aspect in the manga as well and i'm pretty sure that it's going to be animated really well that is why this particular uh, episode uh, was a little lower on the quality because there was not a lot of action happening here let's be honest so th- it and it was more of a slice of life episode which is fine because it's a, a show about a school i'm i'm just i'm just disappointed man i i, I was not expecting this sort of a result from you guys like um, and it it genuinely pains me to say that i am also a fan of or rather i am also part of this fandom even though i do not share any 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 resemblance to all of this horikoshi deserves better man horikoshi deserves better like it it's okay uh, let me just end this video on a better note i would just like to request everyone every one of every fandom and especially my hero academia fandoms like people belonging to my hero academia fandom like please 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 drop your nonsense regarding all these things please support the studio please support the artist he um, they are doing a tremendous job at all of this like they don't deserve so much hate the, i mean there is already so much hate and so much wrong that is going on currently in the world uh, anime and manga and all these stuff are a really good escape from the real world problems that we are having currently so please try to support them guys please try to support them like please don't be a dick please don't or rather please stop being a dick that's that's it that's just what i wanted to say i know this is not like my usual content i never do these sort of unscripted unedited raw kind of videos but i was just so angry that i couldn't control myself and i just uh, switched on the mic and just recorded whatever i wanted to say and i am just i know i'm rambling for a long time now and i'm just going to end this video now and really sorry for no edits or no uh, proper editing that have been done in this video but i hope i really hope that you understand my point and obviously please support horikoshi and please support studio bones they need our support that's it um, thank you so much for watching consider subscribing if you like the video